Okay, let's try that again. Whew, okay. Test one, test two. I'm Weenus. We're getting into Div C West, collecting countless stars versus clouded mines. Let's go to the maps real quick. Take a look on where we're headed for game number one. We have no chickens. Chickens? How dare you? Come populate, chickens. Come populate. All right. To the maps. To the maps. To the maps. Okay. Coin toss was won by Clouded Mines. They wanted first hero pick. They banned out Sky Temple and Dragonshire. Collecting countless stars. Banned out BOE, Garden of Terror. And they are taking us to... Infernal Shrines! All right. So, uh, you know, this is a very popular map. In NGS, lots of team fighting on one single objective. Try to beat up those shrine minions and get your own Punisher to punish your opponents in a punishing way. All right. I think the teams are just about ready here. And uh, we're all in lobby and we're about to start game number one. To the draft! To the draft! Oh, poor chickens. No, you are not appearing here. We're just going to get rid of your name tags. People don't get confused. There we go. All righty the game we go so we are going to have the first hero ban first hero pick going over to clouded mines they are going to get rid of hogger which is i think is a pretty good ban uh, regardless of if collecting countless stars plays a lot of it you don't want hogger there bouncing around on the shrine forever basically picking up that objective bouncing between all the corners so a very solid ban may is going to be banned out by collecting countless stars uh it's not going to be may in August. Get rid of some of that uh, that strength on the point. Gonna get rid of Stukov also. It's kind of deadly on, on the objective as well with the silencing puddle. I think you gotta get rid of Johanna. Johanna is just so strong on this map. Maybe one of the strongest tanks for collecting all of those minions together. And no, we're gonna get rid of KT instead. So, so far, all these picks very good at uh, at getting, getting that damage in on the objective and trying to take it for your team. Johanna's left open. Is that something that's going to be picked first? Is that first pick worthy? Is it worthy? I'm going to see if this coffee's too hot. Possibly burn my soft palate. I don't know why I said it like that, but it's kind of weird. I like it. Junkrat. First pick coming out from Ruffian. Hide your kids. Hide your wives. There's a Ruffian on the loose. Hide your husbands, too. Hide everybody. First pick Anduin on the side of collecting countless stars. They get one more. The captain, Cathasia, I believe is how you say it. I should have asked. Picking up the Anduin there. And Hoku, picking up the Johanna. All right. So there's a possible light bomb combo right off the bat there. Love to see it. A strong first pick set of picks here from CCS. A lot of Cs. CCS and CM. Junkrat. Has a lot of ability to poke the target, though, uh, over the walls. So I can see why that was a good pick here. Coming out for Clouded Mines. Star Knight grabbing the Varian, and we're going to see Peach. The lovely Peach picking up a Lucio. Going to heal everybody. When I see the word Peach, it reminds me I need to buy more fruit. I can't be eating Philly cheesesteak sandwiches all the time. I need some more, some more fruit. Whole foods in my diet. That and other things you don't care about about my personal life soon. Last ban coming out from Collecting Countless Stars. And that is going to be a ban on Imperius targeting Kin, saying, Stab Daddy, not going to be put in your hands today, at least during gameplay. Last ban coming out from Clouded Minds. Not not much to go off of. You can ban maybe an offlaner, or maybe some DPS, because that's what's needed. Maybe some wave clear for the shrine. I mean, you got a lot with Johanna, but maybe, maybe get rid of something like... Deathwing. Sounds good. I'm not sure exactly how many of these picks are going to be target bans. Uh, I didn't get quite enough time to research that, as this was a last minute cast pickup. But uh, Deathwing can sometimes always be hard to deal with, uh, especially if you are going in with main tank Varian, which could be the case. Can't do much taunting on that dragon. Mind. Gonna be picking up the Mephisti. Uh, I don't mind that pick at all. That seems like a great pick. And then uh, DMN13. Can I say DAMN13? I don't know. If it's not DAM, then I feel bad. Uh, maybe we'll find out. DMN13 is going to pick up the Blaze. Nice bruiser, but also really 
a lot of AOE, even more AOE for these shrines. Final two picks coming up from Clouded Minds. You're gonna see Kian pick up the Malfiol and Trillena uh, is gonna be picking up the Tychus. Okay. Pretty decent as well. I do wonder if there's gonna be any kind of boop, booping precision counter counter plays if Varian goes in for a, a taunt and then Lucio boops, Tychus throws a grenade, Junkrat mines. We'll see if they can keep that under control to lock down a target last pick. ES Cypher gonna be grabbing that Zul'jin. Very good. I like both these teams. We'll see you in game number one right after this. Fear response appropriate. The spirit will guide us to victory. Nobody better than me. I never wanted this power, but I'll accept it. Mercy is a sign of weakness. I will not falter. I will not waver. Take heart, my friends. Faith cannot be lost, only abandoned. All right, here we go. A game number one. On the left-hand side, we have Collecting Countless Stars, where we have Mind on the Mephisto. We have Cathasia, is going to be on the Anduin. We have Hoku, going to be on the Johanna. We have Dam13, is going to be on the Blaze. And ES Cypher is going to be on that Zul Jin. On the right-hand side, we have Clouded Minds, where we have Peach on the Lucio. Trelena is going to be on the Tychus. We have Star Knight on the Varian. Kian on the Malthiel. And Ruffian playing that Jankrat. Let the battle begin indeed. Let's check out where our talents are headed. Gonna go Recklessness on Zul'jin. Get those stacks ranked up real quick. Extra wound timers on Junkrats. Watch out just because they're sitting on the ground doesn't mean they're not dangerous. We are gonna be stacking the Lion's Maw there on Varian. Everything else looks pretty straightforward, I believe. Gonna see Kian going up to the top hand lane. Gonna see Blaze come on up. This damn 13 is gonna come match. Hoku holding the bush, waiting for rotation from Clouded Mines. Does scout them out. Getting good vision on the enemy team. Falcomer and Ewok in chat saying, let's go, CCS. Kian's gonna get the rotation here, coming out from collecting countless stars, but. Here comes the rest of the team as well. Hoku taking a lot of damage there, but everyone should be fine for now. Let's see, did we take... Yes, we did take on a Pale Horse. So we have that 20% movement speed on Malthiel, able to go between top and mid quite quickly as we see the Siege Camp for both teams getting picked up. A little bit faster for Clouded Mines, but collecting countless stars not far behind. The dance of the offlaners, performed only by professionals. Do not attempt at home. Unless you, too, are a bruiser. All right, so we might see some fighting over this bottom bruise, this bottom siege camp, excuse me. Junkrat does put the mine down there to possibly boop anybody that starts it, also giving them a little bit of vision, I believe. Very slight XP advantage for Clouded Minds, but this match is young. Much unlike myself, only two minutes in, anything can happen. Looking at the Soak game here. Let's see, I already pulled that up. Is that four? Yeah, there we go. So we do see that Malthiel is picking up a little bit more XP than the Blaze indirectly, but still very close. Very close as far as the levels go. Bottom camp is going to get picked up from Clouded Mines. We're gonna see a Bruiser play by collecting countless stars. I like this. I like this quite muchly. Clouded Mines is not gonna have enough time to start their camp if they want to get to the objective when it spawns, but it looks like they're gonna maybe, maybe poke on the outside of the objective a little bit while they start picking up their Bruiser camp as well. 
They're gonna be a little bit behind, I believe. We'll see. The objective still hasn't been started yet, and neither team has seven. Counting down, there it is. All right, not bad. Picking up that camp, and we're gonna see Cloud of Mines get some clear here on the top camp as well before they go on to this objective. It puts them a little bit behind, but it may give them it may give them more pressure pushing up to the top. Here comes the taunt. Varen's a real boy. Post four. Big stun coming in from Blaze. There is some booping happening from Junkrat spreading the enemy about. Looking. Looking at picking up these minions. 19 to 14, but Clouded Mines is securely on the point. The top camp has won out in favor of Clouded Mines, so that's going to continue to push. Collecting countless stars, looking for an in here. Maybe a pick, maybe a way to push Clouded Mines off. Here comes Hoku up, gathering everybody up. Cypher is low. They're going to get the kill there onto Junkrat. Cypher goes down, though. It's a one for one. 30 to 26. This is going to be close. A big root coming out onto Peach. Can Peach get out? Peach gets out with 80 health. Damn, getting low in the back. Ian chasing everybody off. 33 to 30. Oh, my goodness. Mind poking from below. Here comes a stun. Star Knight is low. Peach is low. It will go to Clouded Mines. That was a close objective. My goodness. Whew. This Arcane Punisher is pissed off. He's ready to leap on some peeps. Leap on peeps. Not just for Easter. Hopping over a nice pull there by Hoku. Taking the brunt of, of the uh, jump. Both teams have sevens now. This Punisher will go down with the nasty Limbo laser beams coming out. Possibly looking for a re-engage. The whole front wall is down and just a tidbit of that mid fort. Let's see where we're at. We're also going to be stacking Piercing Light. Anduin has gone to Hot Topic and Claire's to get his piercings. Ruffian, pretty low in the lane. Brave, 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 Sir Ruffian. Down to the bottom, a potential gank here onto Kian. Can Kian get out? It's not looking great. Maybe taking the low road. Here comes the chase, avoiding a lot of damage from mind, and Kian will barely get out. Wow, what an escape. A lot of resources dedicated to trying to get that kill. Didn't quite work out for collecting countless stars, but I like the call. Pardon me, I'm going to drink a little coffee. Taunt there on the back, but the iron skin comes out. This camp is being trying to be taken at the same time, but instead we're gonna break out into a fight before tens. Elena taking a lot of damage, backing off. This camp still available to be taken and picked up by collecting countless stars. Nice. Tens almost online for both teams. It's gonna be a little bit faster for Clouded Minds unless something unexpected happens. Once again, laying down the Junkrat mine to make sure no one else can claim this. This belongs to us. Hoku is maybe going to come in. Get stuck in the in the Junkrat trap. And there it is. The bottom camp is secured, and we're going to see Riptire. Common, Commandeer, Odin, Shieldwall, High Five, and Last Rites come out from Clouded Mines as they reach 10 first. But collecting countless stars coming up next. Picking up the Light Bomb, the Guillotine, Blessed Shield, Durance, Pate, and Bunker Drop. Interesting with that Guillotine. Love to see it. Zuljin's ready to fight. DM DMN hiding in the bushes, waiting for waiting for it to, to jump onto Trillena. Trillena's able to get out. There comes the Guillotine, chunking a big amount of health out of Clouded Mines there. No objective up yet, but soon. Look at this bush play by collecting countless stars. They are doing an excellent job of hiding. Now can they can they take the fight that they've surprised the enemy on? Clouded Mines able to protect themselves. Only two kills so far in this match. We will see the next shrine activating up in the top here in about 14 seconds. Bruiser Camp 1. Cruiser Camp 2. Show me 2. All right. So a little bit of a push here down in the, in the mid because that front wall is gone. But other than that, we're pretty evenly matched as far as structures go. Pull out just a little bit here. 
Clouded Mind steps up to start the objective. They've got about 25% of the way there. They have 10 of 40. Collecting countless stars, looking for an in. Here comes the Light Bomb. There's the Blessed Shield. Riptire comes out. Trelena is very, very low. Kian getting low as well. Last Rites comes out. Cypher doesn't quite go down. We are going to lose Tychus. We are going to lose Malfield. It's a two for none at this point. Bunker is dropped. And we're going to see Cloud of Mines have to back up off this point. Oh, EMN is taking damage. Going to boost their way out of there. Death timers are low, but I don't know if there's enough time for Cloud of Mines to get back on this point and challenge it. And that being said, it looks like we're going to spread out and collect XP in the lanes instead on the race to 13. But this is looking this is looking like a nice punisher for collecting countless stars. Already up to 22. The spawns have happened. But since everyone is spread out and Cloud of Mines looks like they're not going to contest, they're just going to get what they can elsewhere. There it is, the Mortar Punisher. Gonna be hopping through the top hand lane. Will it land on Star Knight? Nobody knows. Most likely. Oh, no, it does not. It catches Ruffian and it catches Trelena. Instead, out comes the Light Bomb. Star Knight is in a sea of blue. Can they get out? Ruffian very, very low in the back. A nice boop onto Cypher. Is this a possible play to get a kill here? Ruffian's low. So is Trelena. Oh, and they do get the kill. Odin. Odin securing that kill, uh, but set up with the boop. Nice play there by Clouded Mines. They are shredding this Punisher as best they can. It might get the fort. It's going to be so close. No, it jumps away from the fort. The fort can be saved. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, tough plays. Tough plays indeed. Well played there by both teams. Bottom camp in the rush to pick this up. DMN13 goes in there to grab it. Kian shows up. They're looking. They're not in time to, to stop the camp from being taken, and they decide to back on up. In the mid, Hoku is taking a lot of damage, backing up to the fort. Junkrat is top, so this could be a 4v3, but Cloud of Mines is going to back up and not fight this one in the lane. Meanwhile, Kian clearing that camp that was picked up by DMN13. Another potential gank here. Can they get the stun? Doesn't matter. Too close to the wall. Might not have happened anyways. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, big boy. I appreciate it. <laughs> Alrighty. You are watching Div C West. Collecting Countless Stars versus Clouded Minds. Collecting Countless Stars is 0-4, I believe, up until this point. Clouded Minds 4-2. So if we can get some wins for Collecting Countless Stars, they will be the first of the season. And so far, this matchup is very, very close. I could see this match going either way. Love it when it's close. Big boy giving the heart for Peach. We do have some CM supporters as well. There's action all over the place. All right, let's check in with uh, some of our stacks here as we see the siege damage coming in from collecting, or sorry, collecting countless stars. Cypher dropping the health, getting some more stacks in here. Oh, yeah, let's check. We got 11. Okay, 11 stacks if you want Axe. So not as many as we'd probably like to see onto Zul'jin. Here comes a potential gank onto Ruffian. Ruffian's going to possibly bounce. Yes, gets a toss. Escapes with 85 HP. Here comes the taunt, though, and the pull. The yeet onto Hoku. Oh, the guillotine just barely missing. Light bomb used as well. Unstoppable. And there's the blessed shield. It doesn't quite connect. And we are going to see Lucio get the kill there on to Zul'jin. Mine so low. Oh my goodness, 16's online as we're going to see Odin popped as well. And here comes the Siege onto this bottom fort. That one kill superiority in a 5v4. Stepping up, Cloud of Mines wants this fort, and they're going to be able to get this. There it is. Looking for 16's on the side of collecting countless stars. They want to get those 16's so they can be the even talent here. Potentially pick a fair fight going into this next objective. 22 seconds. 20 seconds here in the mid. Siege camps getting picked up, bruiser camps getting picked up. Anything you can get your hands on before this objective begins. Give you a little more XP, get, create some more pressure in the lane. Do it.
All right, let the chaos begin. The shrine is available to be activated, but no one's activated it yet. Here comes a big engage. Rip tire comes on out. There's the Durance. Hope we taking a lot of damage. Mine coming in. Getting a lot of damage out, but taking a lot of damage as well. Low, collecting countless stars, has to back off the objective a little bit, heal up, maybe clear a chomp, maybe clear that camp, tap a well, come back in. No one's dead though, so they can easily come back in on this if they want to. We did have to go back on Hoku and Mind. They are getting close to coming back in. Already 26 picked up by Clouded Minds though. 30 now, they are very close to this objective, so collecting countless stars has to go in now if they want to try to stop this. Cloud of Mines backing up, probably getting ready to poke out the rest. Here comes the taunt into the light bomb. Odin is popped. Out comes, oh my goodness. There is the kill onto Johanna. We're also gonna lose Mephisto. Damn, gets a nice, a nice stun in there, but everyone's low, Cypher goes down. DMN is taunted, goes down as well. Then we have the objective and it's a quad kill going out to Clouded Mines. Kill Tacular. Big play indeed. The camp did win out in favor of collecting countless stars up top, so that's going to have to be cleared up there by Kian. Meanwhile, meanwhile, at the Halls of Justice, uh, our Frozen Punisher is about 60% health, and I think this keep might just go down. I think at that point, we'll see a number of members from collecting countless stars back up. I don't think this is an end call. Clouded Minds got what they wanted, got what they came for, and they will be breaking off to go steal camps try to keep this level advantage going. Very close to 20, they're only half a level out. So about almost a two level advantage over collecting countless stars and that 20, that 20 talent tier advantage is going to be big in team fights. As we see the map getting a little bit of a red paint of, a uh, coat of paint there. Out of mind's maybe looking for a gank top onto Blaze. Blaze is dismounted. Star Knight might get the taunt, but the rest of the team isn't quite there to follow up. Bunker's dropped. Dam says, I'm out of here. DMN13 says, I'm out of here. I'll see you later, friends. Top Fort now being sieged down. Right now, collecting countless stars. They're in all the lanes. They're trying to get the XP. They're trying to catch up. They're trying to get to 20s. They don't really want to do a 5v5 fight, so they have to give up this top fort and see what they can get elsewhere. And try to soak up all the experience they can in a safe way, trying to get to 20s. Maybe getting some Siege bottom. You don't really want to trade Fort Siege for Keep Siege, but a five-man wipe at this point could be end of game, so. They will have to come back to defend the core if Cloud of Mines decides that they don't want to leave. Bottom Fort's going down, bottom Fort is secured, and the core is called, not called. Called, not called. Looks like Cloud of Mines is going to be backing up. Blaze returns. Anduin returns to the core. We're going to see Zul Jin return to the core. Uh, they were able to get this bottom, this bottom fort. That pressure up top is just going to be a little bit rough. They do avoid the fight, though, that they don't want to take, which is good if they want to try to get a huge fight at 20. Finding that XP up in the top, in the mid, down below. Where'd that soak at? Where's my super soakers? Where's my super suit? Hoku is gonna get it's gonna get possibly taunted here. Iron skin is active. Here comes the taunt. There is the Yeet of Faith. Nice pull there by Cath Cathasia. Cathasia. Sounds like alien. I don't know if it's a if it's a some kind of reference to something else, but it sounds like some kind of alien. The alien princess, Cathasia, requires your presence at the Galactic Senate. 20s now online for collecting countless stars, so now we do have even talent here. We are missing that mid keep, we are missing that top keep, but we are ready to battle it out in this top shrine. It is late game. We're getting to late game. So a combination of picking up the Punisher and getting some kills could be pushing, could be pushing big for either team. Big Boy says Red Papas is safe. Red Papas. This is going to be a big fight. This fight will have a lot of a lot of influence on the rest of the game. 
I'm gonna back out. There's just everyone's spread out a little bit here. There is pressure now onto the core of collecting countless stars. They kind of have to decide if they're going to go in on this. I don't think they can defend against the Punisher. Here comes the taunt. Did you see Clouded Mind starting first? Here comes the Light Bomb. Durance doesn't quite land. Riptire comes out. Bunker is dropped. Odin's popped. Going to be able to connect onto four. Oh my goodness. Four members go down on collecting countless stars. Getting huge value. Huge value from that Riptire. And there it is. There is a five-man wipe. Cloud of Mines don't even need this objective. They're going to go try to end core right now. Wow. Monster kill. Woo. That rip tire. My goodness. All right. And that is going to do it for game number one. Clouded Mines taking the first game in this best of three series. Ford melting 30, 20, 10, 0. GG's well played in game number one. Whew, spicy. Alrighty, 3 to 12 as far as kills go. I felt like that game was pretty even up until mid game, maybe late mid game. And then uh, some big team fights coming out for Clouded Mines uh, as they picked up the lead and they got talent tier advantage, which kind of forced Collecting Countless Stars to give up some of, of their structures in order to avoid a fight. Uh, and then the last fight was won by Clouded Mines. Even they're on even talent tier, the taunt combo is pretty pretty intense i liked i liked the potential of of the counter engage from collecting countless stars with with the blessed shield and the light bomb i liked it didn't quite work as the aggression from cloud of minds was a little bit too much uh getting those kills and oh man that rip tire kill was pretty pretty intense there at the end all righty Let's see. The experience. Malthiel able to get a little bit more experience. I think maybe because of levels, freedom to travel the map, but also on a pale horse. Uh, Malthiel just, you know, is a is a madman at clearing. So really good clear on Malthiel and also that bonus movement speed. A little bit hard for Blaze to keep up, but Blaze did quite well. DMN 13, getting almost 20k in soak there. And uh, yeah, the team fights were pretty close. Only two, it was like two to three. Very close in the beginning to mid. Some awesome, awesome pulls by Cathasia uh, when when members of Collecting Countless Stars got in trouble. Mm, very good. Let's see what. Oh yeah, the guillotine. The guillotine was a fun ult to pick. I don't think I don't think I can see stacks here. No, I think Zuljin got a little bit behind on stacks, but here we go. Here we go. That is game number one. We'll be right back. Um, after this. kidding that's the wrong bumper we'll figure that out <laughs> oh my goodness i always got to do a couple things that are that are silly but we do have while well, we're getting ready for game number two we do have a mini honker redeemed by peach too many cm teams get them confused with file names uh mvp peach has redeemed a mini honker for 469 mother cluckers so while we're waiting for lobby number two make sure that isn't actually available okay good uh, we we'll get you the mini honker plus a little song. <laughs> Thank you for your 469 mother cluckers. I'm going to check and see if I do have the, if I actually created the correct bumper. 
and we'll see if we can get that to play. Hmm. Checking my folders. Checking my folders, yeah. That one. Maybe. Oh god, it's loud. It's so loud! Why is it so loud? Why is it spicy? Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Oh, I see what happened here. Alright, well, the first team was right. Ripperoni. Alright, well, we'll get it sorted. We'll get it all sorted eventually. I think I have a different one. Let's try this one. Let's see if this one works. Play it! And there we have it. All right, 1-0 so far. I don't think our lobby's ready quite yet. Here are the maps. Here are the maps. Check out the bands. We went to Infernal Shrines first. Not sure where we're headed next. Let me see if any of our players have already entered. Nope. Looks like we're in parties, but we're not quite ready for lobby number two. All right, hang tight. I'm going to look at something real quick. Oh, all right. We got our map. We are going to Bippity Boppity Braxis. We just need to figure out who has selected. And uh, we are getting this lobby filled on out. Buttspot, getting spicy in chat. You can do it, butt, says Buttspot. Rude. All right, CM did pick the map. So we will mark that down. Boop. Okay, great. So that means we're going to get first pick, first ban on collecting countless stars on Braxis. Ooh, this could be a snowbally map. This could be just what collecting countless stars needs to get back into the series. They win this game. We will go on to game three. Clouded Minds takes it. It will be a 2-0 domination and end there. We shall see. All right. Very good. Teams are getting ready. I'm going to let them know that I'm ready. So they shouldn't be waiting on little old me. All right. I did what I was, what was I going to look I was going to look up something. What was I going to look up? It seemed like it was important. Oh, yes. That is what I was going to look up. Mm-hmm. Had some questions that I wanted to ask whoever wins this series. I'm just going to go ahead and get to those now. Thanks for being here, chat. Hope you are enjoying the series thus far. We've got some supporters of both Clouded Minds and Collecting Countless Stars out in the chat. 
Do you have any predictions about who you think is going to win game number two? Shout it out and hopefully Buttspot leaves you the heck alone. Sometimes he's a little bit of an angry bot. Uh, all right. Looks like everybody's ready. It's time to draft once again. This is where we were. This is where we're going. Show me what we're going to do. Braxis hold out. I'm glad we didn't go to uh, the wrong Braxis map, which is the ARAM. Was that one called Braxis? Ground Foundry? Hmm. That doesn't sound right. Okay. This time, collecting countless stars. It's going to force Clouded Minds, perhaps, to, uh, to ban out some of the meta picks and might get some of their own. So if I'm collecting countless stars, what do I want to get rid of against Clouded Minds? Well, it's hard to say. Hard to say. Junkrat is kind of a problem. Uh, they are going to go with banning out May again. Uh, again, as same as game one at the beginning. But things I would want to get rid of, the Junkrat was kind of a problem. Malfuel seemed to do quite well. Um, and this is a 1v1 offlaner situation. Uh, and so this is going to lead to Clouded Minds getting to pick their offlaner last if they hold it. The 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 1. Uh, so we'll see if Clouded Minds decides to hold it down or not. Brightwing getting banned out. Brightwing's strong on this map because you can go up to the Bruiser solo laner. Give him a little heal and get a 2v1 action that you really just don't want. 2v1 you just don't want. So I imagine maybe getting rid of another global, like maybe Falstad or maybe... I mean, Dehaka, Dehaka's okay on this map. Maybe get rid of some wave clear that was previously shown by collecting countless stars. Let's see what let's see what Cloud of Mines doesn't want to fight against. Okay, it is going to be Dehaka. So we're getting rid of the double global. See you later. Welcome in, Skycake. Need to ban Kian. Every time they pick Kian, they win. Hmm. Kian was a playable hero. Look at this. Yes, Cypher stealing the Junkrat with first pick. Clouded Minds now has the option of picking up the Johanna once again. Let's see if that is chosen. Boom, right away. We're not holding our last pick off laner advantage. With Key and Kin's gonna grab Imperius right away. Star Knight grabbing the Johanna. Wow, look at this. Hoku grabbing the Varian. Kathasia is gonna grab the Stukov, and everyone is just like picking as fast as they can until now. It's pretty good back and forth, back and forth. Okay, so we got the Taunt Varian with the Stukov Silence combo. That was something that was not able to be picked up by Clouded Minds in game one because collecting countless stars banned out the Stukov to break up that channel. Anduin still is available if we wanted to take the light bomb combo over to Clouded Mines and try to steal that idea from their opponents in game number one. We need a lot of wave clear. We need a lot of wave clear. We're going to lose the Lucio respect ban on to Peach. See ya. Skycake redeem the hog honk. All right. Where's my hog? My hog for 569 mother cluckers. Thank you, sir. And then we have the Anduin. Double, triple blondes. As we have the Johanna, Anduin, and Chromie. Ruffian grabbing that Chromie, and we do have Peach grabbing that Manduin. Manduin. All right, so there's light bomb combo potential now. Switching sides over to Cloud Mines for game number two. Ooh, DMN13 picking up the Rexar. I like it. Not a super common pick. Victory for the Forsaken. Mind grabbing the Sylvanas. All right. This is some this is some spicy action. Me likey, me likey. Okay, let's see what our last pick is gonna be. And it's gonna be Trilena is gonna be picking up the Deathwing. Maybe it's not. Maybe Imperius is in the four man. Oh my goodness. This is kind of crazy bonkers. I suspect against Rexar? I don't know. I could see either Imperius or Deathwing going with a four man. We're just going to have to wait and see. All right. Good luck. Have fun, friends. We'll see you at the beginning of game number two. Fear me.
response appropriate. The spirits will guide us to victory. Nobody bother than me. I never wanted this power, but I'll accept it. Mercy is a sign of weakness. I will not falter. I will not waver. Take heart, my friends. Faith cannot be lost, only abandoned. Okay, very good. This time we will start on the right-hand side with Clouded Minds. We have Trillena is going to be on the Deathwing. Ruffian is going to be on the Chromie. We got Star Knight is going to be on Johanna Peach on the Anduin. And we got Kian on the Imperius. On the left-hand side, we have collecting countless stars. ES Cypher is going to be playing Junkrat. Cathasia is going to be playing that Stukov. Mind is going to be on Sylvanas. Hoku is going to be on the Varian in the last... But certainly not least, it's DMN13 on the Rexar. Look at that bear in that badass armor. Damn. Facility online. Misha like what Misha see. John Kruger, welcome into chat. Some Misha point holding action. Let's see it. Let's see it indeed. Pull up some talents for you, and it is going to be Imperious up in the top hand lane. We're going to see Death Wing in the bottom. A good counter to uh, to both silences and to taunts from Varian and Stukov as the dragon. This is kind of immune to all that action. Let's see, where's Imperius going? All right, He's going to do more damage with the brands, percent base damage. Letting the wave push in. Let's see what else we're going. Going low blow here on Stukov. Ruffian taking some hits. Keep in mind that Varian's not a real boy until four. Keep that in mind. Oh dear. The beacons are energizing. We'll have to control them. Okay. Siege camp getting picked up here by Clouded Minds. And we're gonna see the Siege Camp getting picked up by collecting countless stars at the same time. Very good. Very good. adding pressure to their own respective lanes. I'm curious about this matchup up top. I'm not sure how this how this Imperious into Rexar is going to go. So far, Misha, like a champ, sitting on the point. Going for our Bruiser camp on the side of Cloud of Mines. They're picking that up. Ooh, a chase. Big chase onto DMN 13. Kian looking to take that back. Bottom is channeled there by Hoku, as we are gonna see the objective start ticking just a little bit. On the side of collecting countless stars, they do get a solid 8%. Nothing to sneeze at. Star Knight able to sit on the point and claim bottom channel as well. There's the time trap followed into the root. A lot of damage coming behind, but not quite enough. Star Knight taking quite a bit of damage as well. Misha trying to get on the point here. He and lurking in the bushes. Gonna slap that bear around a little bit. Star Knight glued to the point, afraid to leave. And Imperius is able to take over the top point once again. Fours are online. Varian is going to be able to get that taunt, and we could see the taunt silence combo, but we're going to see a chonky Zerg wave going out for Clouded Minds in the top hand lane. Imperius seems to be doing a little bit of bullying there onto the Rexar. We'll see how that continues. There is the Yeet onto Star Knight down in the bottom. That's Cloud of Mines decides that they're going to stay down in the bottom and maybe do some counter siege push down there. John asked, do you think Imperius has long flowing locks under that helmet? Perhaps. I doubt it, though, because he doesn't have a face or a head, right? Like, I don't think any of those Diablo Angels do. Poor Misha. Misha Barbecue down in the bottom lane. 
Dirk Wave is cleared out. Does lose a little bit, well, most of the top wall. But no, no fort damage, so not so bad. Good defense up there as well. Is it safe out there now? Yes. Mostly Hot says, oh, it's <laughs> just what Budspot should have said. Mm-hmm. Very good. Cruiser Camp getting picked up here by collecting countless stars. As both teams are about tied as far as XP goes. We are going to have Pink Camps up a little bit faster. At least for our Bruiser Camp for Cloud of Mines. The Siege Camps will be about the same and ready to pick up in about 15 seconds. Trelena landing down in bottom. Here comes the route onto Hoku. Hoku gets lands in the stun. Getting hit with quite a bit, but not taking nearly as much damage as Cloud of Mines hoping. Checking at the top here. Kian going to try to get some clear up here. I believe needs more wave clear at 7. Goes in for the stab. Gets a shish kebab there onto DMN13. Don't think they can find the total kill. Nice stun there by Misha. In the bottom, we are going to see collecting countless stars push in a little bit. Just want to make sure Keen didn't go back in. Nope. Getting some good black arrow damage. Mind. Uh-oh. Ooh. Good thing shutting that off. Otherwise, mind thinking tower shot's not going to last too long in that 1v tower. Good siege damage. Look at all the siege damage, though, that collecting countless stars got in the bottom. Very nice. Very good. Very good. Back to the camps. Camp down on it. Camp down on it. Oh. Going in again. And there it is. I believe that's the wave clear we're looking for. Holy fervor. Yes. It's going to get you your cleave damage. Yep. That is one thing that Imperius does struggle with is wave clear. So picking up that talent is going to be good on a map like this. Collecting countless stars. Pushing in. As the camp is picked up. Over there by Chromie and Anduin. Look at all the siege damage getting picked up by collecting countless stars. Here comes Cataclysm trying to catch Hoku, and they do. That's going to be first blood going over to Clouded Mines. I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. Kaladorn says, Weenus is longer say the Imperius fight me. <laughs> Sad, but probably true. Tyrael has a head, but bald. Oh my goodness. Some of y'all never played Diablo 4 and it shows. Just kidding, I don't remember. I just wanted to be a spicy comment. The beacon is progressing for Cloud of Mines all the way up to 70% just about. No, it gets cut off at 66 as the top point is captured. Here comes Mine to shut things down and get some more siege damage. Look how low they got this bottom fort, by the way. Continuing with the push up top. In the bottom, we're gonna see some similar siege damage with four members. It's just Kian. Kian's the only one defending up here. Will not be able to hold against this onslaught. We'll either have to give up the structure or look for some help. We're going to find a kill down in the bottom as Varian goes down. Once again, Peach, the healer, getting the kill there. Was it stolen? Or was it all planned out? Trilena going into the sky. Looking for that apple pie jumping over the moon. Tens for Clouded Mines pop right now, and we are going to see Slowing Sands. We're going to see the Bellowing Roar. Oh, Ian. Looking to fight a little bit. We're also going to see the Blessed Shield, Angelic Armaments, and the Light Bomb. Oh, we got to go bottom. I hate that there's so much action that happens both places at the same time. Blessed Shield does miss. Oh, okay. Back and forth, back and forth. Here we go. Forget Rip Tire. We're going Rocket Ride. Mind is going to go down. We're going to get Misha down in, in the top hand lane as well. And now Keen is looking to fight. Has captured that top point. Gets the stun. Do they have the burst damage? Angelic Armaments pop. Can they land this for the kill? Oh, and they do. A nice kill up top. And that is a 100% channel for Clouded Mines. 18% for collecting countless stars. And the Zerg is going to be pushing bottom. Keladorn says, how's at BlizzCon? I'm pretty sure you bought me at least one beer. I hope they bring back BlizzCon again so that I can buy you more beers, my friend. 
bottom lane is pushing and pushing hard as Cloud of Mines just rolls over that bottom fort with the big Zerg wave. The tens are online for collecting countless stars, though, at this point. We got the Flailing Swipe, we got the Unleash the Boars, Rocket Ride, Shield Wall, and we got Mind Control. Front wall goes down. We still got 47% of this Zerg wave left. We need Junkrat here to, to clear some of this, as that is their major wave. But, ooh, out comes the Mind Control. There's the Yeet of Faith. Out come the Boars. Fear comes out from Trilena. Junkrat is the major source of wave clear for collecting countless stars. So I feel like maybe they kind of needed it down here in the bottom to clear out the Zerg wave. But they defend their keep. They do not lose it. I think earlier, I thought that Ruffin was still playing Junkrat. I may have uh, I may have messed that up quite a bit. Old man can't can't uh, keep it straight between games. Oh, here we go. Looking for an invade. Looking for some some pre-13 talent tier action. They're up there. Elena's got friends. Ooh, big taunt comes out. A huge stun, and that is gonna secure. Junkrat kill, the kill on the Stukov, Misha, and Rexar. Boku goes down. Mind in trouble. It's gonna be a not even a five. It's a whole team wipe. It's all six, and this will lead to the boss. Monster kill! John said, never try it to the pay to win Diablo Immortal. I tried that for a little bit, but I'm talking about Diablo 4, the the you pay full price for a game. It's been a while. Or no, Diablo 3. Diablo 4 is not out yet, you stupid weenus. <laughs> Here come the boars. Kian might find themselves in a little bit of trouble. Star Knight jumping past the bear. Oh, poor Misha goes down. Yeah, I'll be playing Diablo 4. I think I'll give it a try. Why not? I'm sure I've been waiting for it for so long. All right, so a good push coming out from Clouded Minds as they have this, they have the boss going. And the boss still has quite a bit of health left. They roll over this top fort. They have talent, talent tier advantage. They're going to steal this camp. They haven't, bottom fort is low, but they haven't lost it yet. So they still have pressure going in the lanes down bot. This camp will help clear a little bit of that. But I think, uh, I think we're going to see 13s picked up before collecting countless stars tries anything else. They're going to clear this boss. Beacons activate in six seconds. There's still two more camps to pick up. And I think Cloud of Mines is probably going to flock on those like flies on a big old poopy. Poopy. With a P. I think that's how that works. That reminds me. I got to go pick up my dog's poop out in the backyard. It's, it's time. Collecting countless stars. Sitting on the top. Locking that down. Here's the camp pickup. 13s are online. Even talent here. Did we pick... Did we pick the... Let's see. Da, 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 da. Okay. I think they're, I think Sylvanas does have percent base damage, but I think you have to pick it at level 1. Could be wrong. We're going to play ring around the, the points here. Which will eventually help Cloud of Mines hit 16. Oh, they want this fort. Yeah, take this fort. It's so low. It's an insult to God to leave a fort so low. So that's a that's a that's a good rotation there from collecting countless stars. Pick that up. Be a little bit careful about being split without without Misha and Rexar. You don't want to find a 5v4. But you also don't want to let them wait until they get 16 either. So they're kind of in a tough situation right now. Cloud of Mines is at 48% of the channel. Yes, Kelador, they were IPAs. Murky IPAs. Nom, 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 nom. Little bush, little bush play here. They're both teams trying to find out where the enemy is. Slowing sands cause problems, says Mosley. Here comes the engage. Yeah, slowing sands going down. We do see the channel collecting here for Clouded Mines. Defiant Misha in the back for a second. Mind control goes out. I don't think it quite connects. Big steer, spear coming in, but there's the protect. Here comes Cataclysm. Hoku is just slow on slow on slow. 
in that slowing sands and the cataclysm. There's release the boars. Hoku goes down a double spear, and there, there's a kill there. Cathasia. Ooh, also goes down. It's a double kill for Cloud of Mines. They have the 16s. They are getting the channel that's going to go to 100 to 0. If they could tag that camp, they would have. They tried. Star Knight just missing as the blade goes right through that ghosty camp. All right, this is going to be a big push up in the top hand lane. You like to see the aggressions as Rackham? Yep. Good comp for CM with the Slows, Roots, and Deathwing. Oh, yeah. Yep, Mosley. All right, here we go. Here's the assault. Let's see what defense we can get here. A nice uh, nice boop there by Junkrat to kind of split up the team a little bit, but a lot of damage coming out onto Mind. This is a fatty Zerg wave, 80%. Just keep bopping it, booping it, try to bring it down. This keep will fall. And it depends on how much Zerg is left to keep pushing in. It actually does so much damage. Here comes the Light Bomb, catching four. Wow, oh my goodness. Gonna get a kill there onto Stukov, onto Misha. Hoku in trouble. Kian gets that kill there onto Rexar. Hoku goes down. A lot of damage. Mine goes down as well. It's a quad kill. That is going to be the core. And that is going to be 2-0 going out to Clouded Mines with the, with the domination tonight over collecting countless stars. Oh my goodness. GG's. Well played. Kelladorn says all IPAs are beers, but not all beers are IPAs. And Valkymer, thank you for posting uh, a little bit about what IPAs are. There you go. Okay, here are the stats. We'll take a looky look. Uh, 15 to 0 as far as team kills. So it looks like the uh, Clouded Mines, either the heels were off the chain, also matched by Cathasia. Around 42k, 43k, both healers doing a lot of healing there. Notice some great yanks by Manduin. Some great silences coming out from, from Stukov. Not quite getting the blow up with the taunt silence by collecting countless stars. I think I think picking the Deathwing into that comp prevented a lot of that. Just being able to do a whole lot of follow-up without being the target of that stun combo. So maybe a wise move by Clouded Minds to counterpick with that Deathwing. Let's see, uh, Kian, 7-0. Loving that matchup against Rexar. Just picking the percent based damage. Just call animal control. This Kian is out on the prowl. Meow. Cypher putting in 31k hero damage as well. Yeah. It was, a, it was an exciting match. It's, it's, it's not the longest match because Braxis goes that way. If you get 100-0... Zerg wave on top of getting some some team kills. That's the way it goes. But shout outs to both teams for putting on quite an amazing performance. Let's change the score here. Does that work? Okay, there it is. There it is. Okay. Uh, let's check the talents out for a second. If anybody wants to look. There you have it. All right. Well, I'm going to try to get an interview with someone from Cloud of Minds if they want to talk about this matchup. So I'm going to hop into a lobby, and uh, if you are watching Cloud of Minds, come find me in there. If I can find an empty channel, that is. Let's see. Ooh, it's a peach. Hello, hello. Are you here for the interview? Indeed, I am, kind sir. Welcome, welcome. Please introduce yourself and your role on the team. Wow, so official. I did not expect that. <laughs> My name is Peach. I am currently a healer for Cloud of Minds. Very good. You like being on the team? No! What? <gasps> <gasps> what? Just kidding. Is it the Peach soundboard? Yes! Okay, I'll try to resist. I'll try <laughs> to resist. I'll try to resist. Sorry, oh. I... I'm at the best speaking ability. I lost my voice a little bit today, but... Well, congratulations yeah. on the 2-0 domination. How are you feeling? My heart, my heart hurts, currently. <laughs> In a good way, or is this a medical <laughs> uh, emergency and we need to get an ambulance uh, over their stat? 
Call an ambulance! Call an ambulance! Are we calling an ambulance, but not for you? Call an ambulance! But not for <laughs> me! No, it's a, it's a good pain, but yeah. Some intense matches, well played. You didn't let anybody die in game number two. Amazing. Uh, uh huh. <laughs> I don't know what <laughs> We'll get there in a minute. Uh, okay, first question. Does your team, Clouded Minds, have any pregame rituals? I don't think we have a ritual as a team, but I am sure that we have our own rituals to do, which kind of great because it identifies us as a all lovely different individuals. I do guess. you are you able to point out some of those individual rituals that some of the players do? I believe this is uh, their little professional secrets. I cannot do that. We just come on. Okay. All right. No, that's fair. If I ask a question that you cannot answer, just tell me and we'll move on. <laughs> but I don't. No, personally, I'm going to speak for myself. Like, I I don't. I just get with the team. And okay. You, you don't do, like, a dance in the shower and, like, fly a kite from the roof and none of that? You know what? That's a good idea. I got to keep it in my pockets of ideas. <laughs> okay. Future. Very good. Uh, all right. Um, let's see. I guess one more question. And I'm, I'm, well, I won't say that. Uh, where does your team name come from? <laughs> That's a good question because <laughs> I'm the, one of the newest members in the Cloud of Mice. So yes. I, I, I probably know the answer, but I just in the condition right now that I do. All right, <laughs> well, we'll, we'll scratch, we'll scratch, that, we'll scratch that one. We'll change it and we'll say, how did you, how did you get pulled into into the Clouded Minds team since you are the newest member? Um. I previously, I am originally from uh, Division E. Shout out to uh, the baddest dudes, the team that is not currently in Division, unfortunately. But who knows? Who knows what the future holds? Um, and uh, they picked me up and then played with them. And then I've been searching for something else, something more, something uh, to try myself, to push myself to my limits. And these guys, let me tell you, they're definitely doing a great job with that. <laughs> Pushing you to your limit, you want to smack yes. them all in the face? Mm -hmm. Uh, not that one. Oh, somewhere no. else. You want to smack them somewhere else? Oh, wait, what? No. <laughs> no. Wait, what? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, you know, you know, friends sometimes do push us to the limits. All right. So getting into game number one on Infernal Shrines, uh, what was your plan heading into game number one? Um... Again, not to show all the cars, but um, I would say we've been looking forward towards continuing playing our Junkrat with our amazing Ruffin. Um, Ruffin carries. <laughs> um, but um, I'm just going to say that we did not end up with, fully with original plan. Um, and we've been looking at the drafts and all possible ideas and uh, we definitely found our opponent's draft pretty strong. We saw lots of combinations that they might put together against us. So we knew the risks. We knew all opportunities as well. And we just went for it. All right. So a little bit of research in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. All right. Uh, okay. Next question is really quick. Who's your favorite caster? Perfect. Next question. Moving on. <laughs> uh, who is the loudest member on your team? Star Knight. Star Knight? All right. No hesitation. <laughs> it's the captain. It's Star Knight. Next... But he has beautiful call outs. I mean. <laughs> of course. Of course. With the shot gotta going. Be. Just, gotta be. just to make yeah. sure. Uh, Star Knight in chat says, Peach wants to go even further beyond. Yes, so, uh, Mr. Captain. <laughs> yeah. So I think that's uh, Star Knight Super Saiyan uh, pre-game pre ritual, perhaps. Uh, okay, um, this might actually, this could be different, but uh, this next question, who on your team is most likely to get arrested? Oh. It's tough. Uh, <laughs> probably Star Knight. <laughs> probably Star Knight once again. All right, very good. Uh, let's see. Uh, if Star Knight was going to date someone in your family, who would it be? Oh. Mama. Be your mama. Okay. Hey, 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 hey enough hey, of that. Hey. All right. <laughs> Couldn't help it. All right. Okay. Going into game two, how did you guys feel about going into Braxis after getting that win 
uh, on Infernal Shrines? Did you did you feel like you had to? I guess the real question is, did you feel like you had to make any adjustments to the style that you're going to be playing in game number two? Well, of course, because uh, practice is two lane map, right? So this is at least how we can adjust. I would say, uh, but the last season and this season, we've been feeling still pretty confident on the practice, and uh, um, we were thinking that we might be able to see Junkrat from their side. So we've been playing with our draft this and there, figuring out what we want to do. We got a couple combinations in mind. Uh, and then we just needed to make a decision and then adjust to whatever we choose and whatever they choose, obviously. So it's very interesting seeing combos swap where you have the you guys have the taunt variant in game one, they have the Johanna Anduin, yeah. and then game two, they're like, Hey, I like their comp in game one, and they thought the same thing, and you guys just swapped. Is that <laughs> did you guys have that conversation at all, or uh? No, not really. I think it happened unintentionally, actually. We just gave each other, you know, a uh, chance to practice each other's <laughs> heroes, I suppose. Which is kind of funny, yeah. <laughs> very good, very good. Okay, did you have a favorite uh, part of the of the match tonight in any of the games? Like a, a favorite a favorite thing that happened? Um, Really difficult to point out because uh, I have a couple in mind, but... Um, Definitely gotta rewatch some of the moments in the game, um, which we'll, we'll do anyway. So I'm pretty sure. Very um, good. Well, when you do that, you'll be able right. to you'll be able to listen to me talking about how I need to clean up my dog's poop. So that's in there. Enjoy. Oh, the, the level of excitement in my mind right now. We I, I know. That. Well, I mean, you'll learn this as you get older. Like sometimes your brain doesn't function like it should, and if you remember something, you gotta say it out loud so that hopefully you don't forget it. So. That's you know. exactly how I feel yeah. all evening today. Weenus, you, know? you have to go grocery shopping. Go get the good foods. Okay. Told myself. All right. Very nice. uh, okay. One last question. Uh, who would you give the MVP to for this match? Oh. Which is funny because um, I actually wrote this question out before uh, I knew that you were going to be in the interview because, of course... We do have the sound clip of where is that? They call me MVP for a reason. <laughs> so that's there. But who would you who would you give to the the MVP to? You can give it to yourself if you want to. That's that's totally fine as well. Anybody? Well, I kind of already did this on your board, so I cannot give it to myself twice. Uh, and I actually didn't plan to. Um, I would say. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna give it to myself twice and then one more time. All three for no, me. No, no. Next question. <laughs> Next question. Um, <laughs> hmm. I let's do it this way. I will give an MVP to um Trulena. Trulena, as many people like to call him. I'm just gonna continue calling him that. Uh, for the awesome Deathwing uh, game. But I'm giving my shout outs to my opponent healer. That's what I'm going to say. Very good. Yes. Yes. Some some great heals coming out from Cathasia. Uh, Those pools, man. Those pools. I don't know if these guys are watching right now, but if they do or while well, they're going to watch the replay. Yeah. Looking, um, at, looking at all those great pools, it made me want to go and put on my bathing suit. Yeah, you know what? Do it. <laughs> do it. Do it. Should do we? It. Yeah. Yeah. Do it. Whoa. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. This is, says ah short. <laughs> all right. Very good. Uh, is this a big? Are you? Win? Are you just funny? Embarrass me like all, <laughs> like all interview. Uh huh. Um. Let's uh -huh. see. I think. I think that's all about. We have. Oh, maybe some yelling. <laughs> All right. That's pretty much uh, start night all evening today. That's very that <laughs> yeah. That's it. At the beginning, all the time throughout the match. Okay. I, uh, le I learned from the best. So. Yes, yes, you did. The screaming champion, Star Knight. Okay. So last last silly question, and that is, would you rather be a conjoined twin with your worst enemy, or be asleep for seven out of twelve months of every year? 
since I'm a little stalker, I know that you already asked that question before in a previous interview, Mr. Weenus. You've been lazy with questions. Aye, aye, aye. I, maybe I just want to know what... Okay, I'll ask you a different okay, question. Okay, but... No, 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 no. But it's okay. I'll still, I'll still answer. Um, I would say... Wait, for how long you need, I need to be with my worst enemy? Oh, it's it's for life. For life? Mm -hmm. Uh, Being asleep for seven months, for sure. Okay, so you're going to be asleep for seven out of the 12 months. Okay. Very good. Yeah, I mean, it, it is a long time, of course, but um, now that I just, the image of me being, like, next to my enemy for so long, um, it's, it is for the rest of my life, I mean, enemies are enemies for a reason. That's right? true. All right, here's a unique question for you uh, for okay. calling me out, uh, which I appreciate. Uh -oh. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, okay. <laughs> Would you rather eat a peach every day or stub your toe once every four hours that you're awake? Wait a second. Oh, oh my gosh. Now, little fact about me, chat, and Venus. Um, I'm allergic to peaches. So... Imagine me eating a peach every day. <laughs> I mean... How allergic? What would happen if you ate a peach? <clears throat> if I eat a peach... I mean, only fresh peaches. Like, if, if that would be canned peaches, not a problem. Oh, but only loophole. fresh peaches, yeah. Okay, let's say... So, it, what happens if it was a fresh peach? Um, what, what would happen? Uh... My throat would start uh, would be really itchy from an inside. It mm -hmm. would feel like I swallowed some uh, hot iron, probably Ooh. like melted Ooh. iron. Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, I would start. I would have some difficulties breathing, and probably one of my lips become like twice bigger, which most of the girls are wishing for, right? What, what else can you wish for if you think like that? But pff, nope, not for me. Sorry. There you go. That's that's free injections. Just uh, eat. <laughs> So it sounds like um, maybe maybe stubbing the toe is probably the better way to go. Yeah. But that sounds yeah, painful too. Yeah. All right. Those are some really good questions. Thank you. Thank well, you thank you very much for the interview. Uh, do you have any shout outs before you let you, we let you get out of here and enjoy the rest of your evening? Absolutely, yes. Um, I will be honest with you guys, I've been just talking to one of my friends who is not playing HOTS and today I was explaining the like the importance of this game, the importance of survival of this game and why this game deserves a chance for like, you know, for new players, for like a wave of new players coming in and trying it out, at least trying it out. I'm not talking uh, about NGS, but I'm shouting out for to, to NGS uh, for the whole thing that we've been doing for years and years and years and um, the more I'm staying here, the more I'm realizing how cool it is to be a part of the community. Um, it is a small community, and um, but it's a really strong community, I believe, at least. <laughs> um, so shout outs to NGS, shout outs to uh, Cloud of Minds, the whole organization, so including yourself, kind sir, um, which is the next shout out. Shout out to beautiful caster. Thank you Aww. so much for uh, picking up our match and um, spending your time here with us, um, casting and telling people about your personal plans and about the dog pool. That <laughs> <My laughs> I'm about to hear about. <laughs> um, and uh, of course, shout outs to our opponents. Uh, CC has been around for a while and keeps coming up with uh, different strategies, different teams, different names. Holy cow help <laughs> remembering all these names definitely is a challenge for me <laughs> but i learned so thank you so much for uh collecting countless stars for their time today and of course shout outs to or, my beautiful team um <laughs> it's amazing to be a part of my team and um what else do you need for when you play hots right when you play competitive hots that's what you need just a great team Spending time together, figuring stuff out, trying something new. Yeah. I promised I wasn't going to cry. Are I you promised crying? I wasn't oh going to cry. Goodness. I'm so sorry. I oh, mean, I'm it was not. beautiful. 
All right. Well, thank you so much for the interview and congratulations <laughs> once again. Thanks for coming in and chatting with me and putting up with me. And I uh, hope you have a wonderful rest of your season. We will be watching. Please do so. All I'm right. excited. <laughs> have a wonderful have evening. Have a good one. Toodaloo. Bye. Bye. All right. That is going to do it for us tonight. Thanks, everybody, for, for coming on out. Let's see. Oh, I missed. Uh, let's see. The Sky Cake wants the goat scream, which we couldn't do during the interview. But thank you for your 669 mother cluckers. We should do that now. I need to get more batteries from my goat. Here's the goat. Oh, man, this goat sounding real rough. Can you even hear it? I don't even know if you can hear that. Hmm, I can hear it. Can you hear it? Maybe you can't even hear it. All right. Well, I'll have to go back and listen to that. So here's my here's my goat. To, since it is the first goat scream redemption, I got to do my goat too. All right. Here's the goat. <laughs> oh, that's the first time you've seen that. Ooh, you're gonna have some nightmares tonight. My goat is dead. Oh, well, it sounded something like that. It sounded more like <laughs> underneath underwater. Thank you for the 69 bits, Ruffian. Thanks everybody for being out here. Thanks for the cast. Absolutely. Thanks for redeeming your mother cluckers. Thanks for the follows. Thanks for hanging out, friends. We'll see you next time. Mm, these were your teams. We'll uh, see if anybody else is still casting and we'll send you on over there next. See ya. Master's voice. Power before me, mortals. The whole of this realm will break. Let's play! I will bring you to your knees. None resist the chill of death. One dies, one grows strong. A thousand and one gods, and none could save you.